okay what's up i am poison berry and i make ai uh quote unquote art so i'm gonna teach you something of how to use comfy ui to do automatic subject masking because comfy ui is awesome until it's not and then you have to like figure out like really like complex stuff in order to do things so what's going on here it's doing the the things with the stuff with this put this in here in the in the negative prompt because i want this to be on youtube so it goes through here it does the sample, does the base image right over here, and then, ooh, what's this? How do you do that? How do you make a, a, a solid mask based on the person? Based on kind of the person. It's good enough. So the way that I do this is with the Coco Semseg processor. Just a, a base overview of what's going on. Base image, Coco Semseg. Actually, you know what? Let's just start from scratch. Let's remove all these. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Get an image preview. See what's going on. Preview image. Preview image. Clone. Preview image. So what Coco Semsec does, so I could be wrong about this, but I'm fairly confident this is the same type of segmentation preprocessor that like self-driving cars use. That's why I use what this prompt right here to kind of show what's going on. You uh, you can't see my mouse pointer by the way. I forgot about that last time. So yeah. Uh. This prompt has a thing with the person, and as you can see, there's some cars in the background, some trees, some buildings. There's a one girl with a handbag. It's whatever, it's floating. It's attached to her. And then, if you look at the thing, you know it's sub. It, it's able to know the street. It knows. Let me put these right next to each other because you can't see my mouse pointer. So it's able to segment the person. It's able to segment the street. It's able to segment the cars very well. Because, you know, a self-driving car needs to know what cars and people look like so it doesn't hit them. And then it needs to know what, like, you know, a tree is so that if there's an unavoidable collusion, it can hit the tree instead of the alive stuff. I mean, the alive stuff we actually care about. I'm not a vegetarian. Uh, the buildings, it wants to avoid those. The sky, it wants to avoid flying into the sky, I guess, whatever. So... The question is though how do you actually use this how is this useful like what does this like how like what is it it's we're going to use it to create masks for the subject so how do you do that how do you how do you use this how do you use this information to go to that black and white mask that i had earlier and the answer is with math so you see everything in computers is math these colors don't let it fool you they're not actually colors they're all numerical values the computer only understands numerical values. Everything is a one and zero. So we need to, not that, mass, no image. Uh, I forgot which one it was. Mask, composite, convert, image to mask. There we go. Masks are black and white. So it has to convert based on color channels. So we're going to get all of the color channels the red the green and the blue all right and then plug this this coco semseg into the convert image to mask and then it'll separate it into all the color channels and now what we need to do is convert all of these masks back to an image so that we can actually see what's going on and then have a little bit of a better understanding of what it's doing so I'm going to clone all these bad boys, or these bad girls, we don't know. Boop. Move all this stuff out the way. Put this here. Plug it in, plug it in. Alright, so what's going on? Let's get a new image. Let's just put it on fixed to make it easy. Boom, color channels. So... What do we have to do next? It separates them into the color channels. So how do we get a black and white mask from all this stuff? We have to do math. All right, so the thing that I've learned about this is that cars will always be blue. And that doesn't matter. The subject, the person, will always be in... It'll always be the most red, the most red channel. It's always going to be this color. No matter what. Every single time. And then inanimate objects that might be attached will be a slightly different color. This might be problematic. There's a little bit of red up here. Why? 
I don't know. Well, Alright, let's use this image. Fixed. Cool, we got the same image. So it segments them. We get the color channels. Now we have to do math. The way you do math with masks is with the mask composite note. As you can see, there's a source and a destination. I don't know why they did it like that. It should be A and B in operation. A times B, A plus B, A minus B. But yeah, that's how it works. It's this minus this. So like I said earlier, the the red, the red is the most person. The person is the most red. The, it'll always be this color. The, the person will. So how are you doing math with colors? That doesn't make any sense. Um, everything, like I said before, everything is is numbers for the computer. The computer doesn't know colors. The computer knows numbers. So colors you can think of as a three-dimensional array that have a red, green, and blue. Oh, oops. Red, green, and blue channel. There we go. So it's, you know, uh, red channel, comma, green channel, comma, blue channel. And then it, it, yeah, it just separates them into a grayscale. So it's just... Uh, converts it from a three-dimensional array into a a one-dimensional float where instead of you know the the r the rgb it's just gray it's either a one or a zero so now it's now we have just we have a float we have a single number so now we're able to do math with that because you know math with an array it's it's a little more complicated so whatever not really but the kind of it is it just makes it easier for what we're trying to do because we need to subtract we need we need this this red color because the red's always the person so we have to subtract the green and the blue from the red so we take the red and then we subtract the green see subtract subtract and then again we want another we want another image preview so that we can see what we're doing because doing math with colors is not really intuitive to some people, including myself, and I've been doing this for a long time. So as you, we subtract the green from the red, and now we have this. Ah, oh, this is going to be a problem. All right. This is going to be a problem, but we'll fix it. Don't worry. Unless we can't, then it's going to be ugh. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, this is AI and... We're trying to be lazy by setting up something to do the work for us, which means that it might not always work the way we want. So just keep that in mind. But there's ways around that. Don't worry. I'll show you later. So what do we do? We subtracted the green from the red. But now we need to, we, we still got to subtract the blue because the blue is cars, and we don't care about that. We just want the person. We want the red. The red information. So clone that. Clone these two. Shift drag. Crap. Control click. Shush. Uh, uh. Control, click, shift, drag. Make sure you have the right one selected. So that does that. So we have this. This is the red minus the green. It's the red channel without green. Now we need to subtract the blue. Like I keep saying, we only want the red. Boom. I knew it. I knew this would be a problem. All right. So there's, all right, there's a couple things. For some reason, that's there. But whatever. So we need to find out how to get rid of that. If there's any extra information that you don't want, like if, I don't know if you could see, but there's a little, there's some other kind of very dark gray in the corner here. So we can bring that up if I use a, it's a binary mask. It's a binary mask, then it's going to, it's going to convert anything that isn't black into white. See? So we wanna we wanna do something to get rid of these values, which is very easy. For that, you use just another mass composite. What did I just do? Sorry, no oops. So we clone this, clone these as well. Shift drag. Boom, boom, boom. And then we need a solid mask for this. So what's a solid mask? It's a number with a height and a width. So the th so for this, if this is not the same resolution as the base image, then it won't it won't subtract for the whole thing. So we want this to be the same. Five twelve by seven sixty eight. We need the masks to be the same size as the original image, or else it'll only work on a portion. And since 
AI creates images differently every time. We just want something that works 50% of the time every time. So that's what we're doing. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, what is one? What, 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 what exactly is this? So if you don't know about uh, numerical values and how it relates to math, one is pure white, zero is black, and anything in between is a shade of gray. So we have dark gray, we have slightly lighter gray, we have yeah, almost white, but not white. It's gray. There's lots of gray. There's more than 50 shades of gray. All right, so we're trying to get rid of this extra information up here and these little, these little tiny dark gray patches. I don't know if you could see them, but they're definitely there. That's what the, the binary mask showed us earlier. So we have this. This is pretty, pretty, this is maybe like 0.7, maybe 0.8. So let's do a 0 0.5. 0 0.5, subtract. Oops, no, we need the source. Even though this is the source, this doesn't make, they should change this to A and B, like for like, uh, whatever. All right, so what's going to happen? That stuff's gone now. And now we go to impact operation binary mask. Swap this, actually just make a new one. Clone, shift drag. Binary mask to image. So now this should, oops, this should only have the subject now, like we want. There we go. Does it work every time? No, it doesn't. But does it work most of the time? Yes, it does. So let's see, we get a new image. Do we have a new image? What's going on? We have a new image now with a girl and a bag and some cars and stuff. So it does a segment thing. The red is the most person. We have all the different color channels. Subtract, 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 subtract anything else that we probably don't need or any, you know, small gray values. And then boom, it got rid of the handbag. So this value might be a little too high. It's maybe 0.3 repeating, of course. So what do we have now? It's got a new mask. Does she have a handbag? Why do they always have handbags? Oh, dude. Oh, my God. It's all the hands. It almost had the correct number of fingers. The bow is not person. So this is the only thing I haven't really figured out how to work around is when it segments the, like, bows and ties for some reason into a non-red color. I have I literally have no idea why it does that. I think it's I think it thinks it's a butterfly, and then it's like, yeah, I could run that over. Because I think cars use this. But yeah. So this is the only thing I haven't really figured out how to work around. Like I said two seconds ago. Uh, but you know, it's it's doing everything automatically. So you shouldn't really expect it to be 100% every time. This is AI. You know how it works. You generate 200 images and then you cherry pick the best one. And then you upload it. And then you tell people, oh, I, I use Photoshop with my art. No, you don't. Alright, this might be a little too high still. Let's bring it down to like 0.15. Actually, no. 1.6969420. It's, it looks like it rounds up, but it actually doesn't. No, oh, it needs to be a 6942069. There we go. There's always going to be there's always going to be a little bit of you know sus I thought I thought the bow tie was you know something else maybe maybe it sees people wearing bow ties and then it does this and it's like you can run them over for wearing a bow tie but I don't I don't really know how it works I'm not the person who made it they obviously hate bow ties because this always happens with bow ties Let's see we got another thing see she's not wearing a bow tie so she is okay but the handbag, those will always be a different color for some reason. And there we go. So you can do some additional work with this, like a, maybe like a blur or a feathering. Let's see. Impact, mask, mask, feather mask. I hate this. 
So I'm not I'm not changing all four of those numbers. No, no, no. No, utility is primitive. So I am trying to be as lazy as I possibly can. Five. And then put that here. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We need to feather. Oh yeah, all right, yeah, this goes here. Then it converts it to binary. So it should maybe stop these little, these little lines we're gonna find out. Yay! And if you want, you could make this a little bigger. Control after generated, what the heck? Oh, I think that's for, for seeds, just in case. Nope. Alright, so basically if she has a bow tie, she's gonna die. That's the mnemonic. If you wear bow tie, you will die. So just put bow tie in the negative. Why do they always have handbags? Come on. There we go. So, Alright, cool. Except not. Uh. Uh. Oh no. What is that even? Oh, okay, I understand. Her hand sucks, so it just said, no thank you. That I'm not sure what's going on there. So I guess it thought, so it's not going to work every time, but it's going to work enough times where you should be able to make use out of this. So I hope this has been uh, informative. And yeah, good luck.